We celebrated a really special anniversary this week. It's two years paper. What's two years? Does that count? Is it, I don't know what two years is called, what you celebrate it with. But at the Ingram Angle, we were just thrilled. And we're so happy that you've been with us every night, right? You haven't missed a night? I can hardly believe it. A special thank you to the best audience in TV. You watch us all the time. You keep us number one. And remember, a quick look back, and you'll remember why you love us all anew. And this is the Ingram Angle from a very busy Washington tonight. We're live along the Rio Grande in a place called Del Rio, Texas. Live from a sort of blustery Paris tonight. Broadcasting from the American Cemetery on the Normandy coast. This is a wild scene here tonight in El Paso. A special Ingram Angle town hall from Chicago. Live from the border state of Arizona tonight. We have folks who will come in and literally within 45 minutes, they're in a delivery room, and that was just a week ago. Wait a second, they're delivering children? They're delivering children. This is terrifying. I mean, you have a man separated. Now you have a man separated from his baby here. The baby's crying on the other boat, and Border Patrol is left to have to fish him out of the river. Here we go again, these migrants throwing themselves into the Rio Grande. The difference here, contrary to a lot of the reportage, they know they're going to be rescued. I'll make you a promise, Laura. Whatever the Democrats want to spend their time doing on Capitol Hill, this president, his vice president, and this administration are going to keep focused on the issues that we were elected to advance and we're going to keep America great. America is the greatest country in the world and I think that when it's all done at the end of the day nobody's going to look back and say was there a good story or a bad story they'll look back and say what did you accomplish. All things considered would you rather be doing brain surgery I mean honestly it's easier than what you're doing here right? Probably. <laughs> Dealing with more reasonable people. <laughs> Are you having more fun now than you were as CIA director? I was thinking about that. If I could choose between one or the other, like, which one, what's more fun? Uh, they're very different jobs. I've enjoyed them both. Oh, what a diplomat! <laughs> what do you pray for when you pray for this country? Peace. Really peace. And we built up our military. We built up our wealth. We built up everything. Our country is in such great shape right now. We need as much help as we can to bring the killers to justice. My son was visually taken from me, burned alive in the garbage, and no mother should have to deal with that. I never That's forgot hard. Demetrius, not one day since last year. Thank and it's a $15,000 reward. Yeah. Um, it's 20000 now. Thank, thank you. you. I'm Sean Hannity and for Laura Ingram tonight, I have no idea what the show's about, but I will do it for her and rescue her from the flu. Oh. I wish one night you would start without having a whole string of adjectives like psychotic, crazy, to then go, I didn't and say Laura you. Ingram. I mean, if the shoe fits, wear it. We actually like each other, contrary to what people might think. You are horrible. <laughs> you are you. a horrible person. You ever watch Stock Dynasty? Uh, yes. I love it. What Did you event? get an invitation? Because I didn't get an invitation. Wait a second. I have a question. What, what event? Wait, you told me to bring this from my house. Well, I know. Well, I didn't have one at it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there you go. You're giving me a rose that you told me These to These are called props, Ingram. Don't ruin the drama oh for everybody. Oh, my God. With the Yaz box, well, too. I, and now with the uh, Yaz box is what it is. Give us something on the box other than Yaz. The ultimate trigger sculpture, kind of culinary sculpture. It has everything the Democrats Hate. Mm, tastes good. We're so happy that we're still here. We're kicking. And my and earring, earring fell. This right is good cue. luck. Okay, there's a story behind these earrings. And I'm not telling it. And <laughs> let me just say, oh, my, my earrings are falling off. I'm laughing so hard in here. That whole nationalism thing. Oh, my eye earring fell. Isn't that fun? We're just learning about this in the Wall Street Journal. A federal delegation. Um, uh, my earring just fell off. <laughs> and then last week, he sent uh, me and Secretary Pompeo. I apologize, guys. This is like a running joke with us. Just People in offices, you don't know what they're doing. My earring fell off. I was so excited about that topic. <laughs> the, the final We're cake. Out of and, oh my God! Oh my God! Raymond. So sorry, Laura. Oh. oh my God. Oh, it's a fake cake. You are the worst. <laughs> you are the worst. Oh my God. 
um, up next. Um, get the tissues ready. Uh, we have to say goodbye to someone who actually brought this show an enormous amount of joy, and I know a lot of you as well. Stay with us. Hard to believe, but it's the end of the road for another 2020 Democrat candidate. Late tonight, Robert Francis O'Rourke announced he's dropping out of the race for the White House. Hard to believe, he gave us such joy, but tonight we say thank you to him and goodbye, Beto. I'm running to serve you as the next president of the United States of America. We are truly now, more than ever, the last great hope of Earth. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. I love you too, thank you all. You're a rock star. No, no, there's just so no, many great really people. Are. This country was founded on white supremacy. Public enthusiasm for this 46-year-old optimist continues to swell. Uh, so, I'm here at the dentist. Well, uh, Cynthia, I'm changing the tire on this truck. Take a deep breath, no crying. <laughs> I have enjoyed white privilege, absolutely, undeniable. He, you could just see the charisma that he has on stage, that people, whenever you get a camera on this guy, what he, he has this charisma. That was that moment where he felt like he had some kind of destiny. In Texas, we have a problem with broadband in rural communities. They can't go to Tinder and find a date tonight to find that special person who's going to make the difference in their lives. No one is born to be president of the United States of America, uh, least of all me. Remind me again how much time the media elite spent hyping this guy over the last two years. In retrospect, why were they giving so much attention to a guy who had literally no support? I ask again, how many times do you have to be wrong before you're no longer considered an expert? So long, Robert Francis. That's all the time we have tonight. Shannon Bream and the Fox News at Night team take it all from here. It's time again for Dear Laura. Here's a message from Janie Mercado. It's very annoying the way you and Hannity flirt at the beginning of the show. I don't care if y'all have a thing going for each other. What? But it's annoying to watch. Who put this in here? I wish you would tone it down a bit. Okay, I have no words for that one. Okay, that is... That's, it's ridiculous. All right, and here's what Lindsay Jaffe wrote. Laura, your new habit of chuckling and giggling at some of the Dems' antics is in no way endearing. Do you think their destruction of our country is a joke? I don't find it funny at all, and you're making light of it makes me sick. Okay, I don't take them seriously because I don't think the country takes them seriously. Humor is a devastating weapon. Republicans should use it more. Send me your thoughts and comments, even video questions, ingramangle at foxnews.com. That's all the time we have tonight. Shannon Bream and the fabulous Fox News at Night team have all the stories, and they take it from here. Shannon. Whatever will we talk about, Laura? Maybe your sense of humor. <laughs> have a great I show. Know. Thanks, we will. And we begin tonight with the Fox News alert. President Trump says impeachment